We're gonna talk to Himikuno. So, have you thought things through? I want to join. Come with me. Yeah. Let's go. I'll be waiting. Time to get on. Oh god. Our journey starts now. Oh, bye friends. Bye friends. I'm over here. Oh my god. Come with me. Take the journey. Hello. That was a good. That was a cute. Looking dumbfounded. That was cute. Yes, Pom Pom's talking to you. Himiko told Pom Pom about your situation. Now listen up. Pom Pom will only say this once. Pom okay. I'm sure there have been lots of people telling you how special you are lately. But this is the Astral Express. And everyone on here has their secrets. Since you chose to board, you can abide by the rules. You're not the only special one here. You'd best remember that. I'm Pom Pom. I can't take him seriously. Just come find me if you have any trouble. When he's so cute. Oh, Aren't you cute little little thing let's talk to this little guy you're here already hmm. i was just engaging in pleasantries how can i help i don't have any questions man for the express's warp jump you can look yeah the place yourself i'd rather do that myself no matter where you go on this train pom pom will always have my eyes on you i mean i don't mind that to be honest surprisingly Attention all passengers! Attention all passengers! The express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. All right. I repeat, the express is about to conduct a warp jump. All passengers, please gather at the main hall. Yes, sir. It took long enough, but at least everyone's here now. Where's Don Hang? He won't be here, so just leave him be. Oh yeah, take these. What's this? A tiny bonus from the conductor to the passenger. Think of it as an investment in your future growth. Oh, rewards. Yeah, the loot. Yeah, we like that. We like rewards. Okay, everyone. Hurry up and find a place to sit down. Try not to be like March. Always running around the express like a headless chicken. Pom Pom's going to start She's always the running final around. preparations for the jump. All right, you do you, boo. Are you ready to move on to the next planet? Yes. What's the next stop? <gasps> the universe. The Astral Express. Is that a whale in space? Eons. <sighs> Did I get dragged into a science fiction movie or something? This Stellaron thing in my. Yeah. Stars? <laughs> I've done stuff like that before. But it wasn't stars for me though. It was lights. No, it was cute. When I first woke up after being rescued from the ice, I could see clusters of stars in front of me. I reached out woke for them from the ice. Quickly, but they turned out to be the carriage ceiling lights. The whole crew was watching me. It was pretty embarrassing. Rescued from the ice? Oh, I forgot to tell you. Before all this, we need some I context to that. Block of ice drifting through space. What? Himeko and Mr. Yang and who was it again? Anyway, they figured out a way to melt the ice and save me. The third me. one? A third person? Well, do do you remember what happened before you were frozen? I don't remember a thing. Oh. Who I am? Where I'm from? No. My name? It's like everything was erased from my mind. March 7th was the day they found me, so it stuck. Ever since then, I've been hanging out on this train and following it to whatever destination it decides to stop at. I'm hoping that one day... Poor thing. I can find my path. Oh, March, I'm... I'm uh, looking, her, looking at her in a different for? light now. A way to get everyone down, huh? Sorry. It's fine. I was the one who brought it up. Uh, <laughs> cheer up. 
It's not every day someone gets to ride on the Astral Express. Ah, here comes the conductor. The Express has reached a safe distance from the space station. We'll be jumping in about 10 minutes. Return to your seats, please. Both of you! Things could get bumpy. Uh, thanks, Pom Pom. But did you really have to come and remind me? I'm not a newbie, you know. <laughs> I am. Well, it wouldn't be necessary, but Miss March 7th likes to challenge herself. And falls over every time. That's just called never That doesn't surprise up. me at all. <laughs> hello? Hello, hello? <laughs> Oh, sit on tired. All passengers, please return oh. to your seats. Sit down, March. The train is about to make the jump. I won't hold on, everyone. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. I won't fall over. Five. I'm gonna bet she's gonna four, fall over. Three. Two. Oh. One. Oh. And we're gone. Well, that was fast. Are we done already? Those millennia. Is this what your Relo 6 has become? Your yeah, Relo uh -huh. 6. So that snowy planet is our destination this time? Yes. Looks like this trailblazing expedition won't be easy. Okay. A new uh, planet we have to go to? Anomaly. Star rail stability is down to 12%. Oh no. That's not Schedule good. Schedule alteration. Seven day stop over time extended oh. indefinitely. Indefinitely? Indefinitely. Until the anomaly is removed. Pom Pom, you can't Take tell me that. As an example. It's like the what am I supposed to do in seven days? Snapped, and the way forward leads straight into a collapsing abyss. The only sensible thing to do would be to break hard, right? If we try to force our way ahead, there could be a hefty price to pay. This again? Don't tell me. It's gotta be. What is it? The results of the preliminary analysis are here. The anomaly well, stems from. A that was the guy that booped us. As always. Stellaron. That's me. Or I have a Stellaron. Yes. Just like the one that's been placed into your body. What should we do? Don't worry. It's not the first time our route has been obstructed by a Stellaron. Stellarons are clouded in mystery. Even Herda isn't able to fully understand them, but at least we know how to neutralize their influences. The only thing we can say for sure is that their arrival causes massive changes to civilizations and ecosystems. They also generate distortions in space, such as fragmentums. Fragmentums. There must be an inextricable connection between the Stellaron we're dealing with here and Urelo 6 becoming a frozen planet. Oh, so it hasn't always been a frozen planet. Is that Stellarons are seeds of disaster, planted by a certain eon throughout the universe. We can't continue to trailblaze without removing the source of the disaster. So you're saying... That we've got to get busy! <laughs> I'd like to entrust this trailblazing expedition to March, Dan Hung, and you. The objective is clear. Find the Stellaron responsible for the disaster the and the golden trial. And bring it back to the Express. We'll deal with the rest. Awesome! We get to work as a team again! Time to explore a new planet! Let's go! You're not coming? Someone has to stay on the train or Pom Pom will get lonely. Aw, he'll be not fine. To mention, Nanook threw us a glance just now. If we're targeted by the Antimatter Legion, then things could go south fast. So it's still not our turn. I know you really want to go, but we should give the youngsters a chance to get out there on their own. It'll be a good opportunity for them to bond. March, if you two are ready, why not go and find Dan Hung? He's probably already started collating the ecological data and survey results for your Relo 6. Yeah, he's a nerd. It's always good to know more about the destination before you start a journey. <laughs> well, let's begin. Hello, Dan Are you doing okay after your first jump? I'm alright. Dizziness or retching are normal reactions. You'll feel better once you get used to it. I feel mm. fine. So you have high compatibility with the Express. 
That's good. I went through the Express's database, and it seems the environment on Urelo 6 has undergone drastic changes in the past few centuries. It was not a frozen planet to begin with. He said so? Hmm. Considering the spatial obstacles that the Star Rail has encountered, it's highly possible. I've conducted a preliminary survey and found that there's one area with a relatively normal temperature on the surface of the planet. By normal, I mean a temperature that just about allows for human survival. If I had to choose a oh, site that's for not initial good. investigation on this trailblazing expedition, that would be it. Himiko wants you, me, and March 7 to go together. As I expected. Before you came, whenever March wanted to go anywhere, Himiko would make Mr. Yang and me go with her. And even after you arrived, I didn't suppose I'd be the one to be liberated of that duty. I assume the trailblazing objective this time is to find the Stellaron on Urelo 6 and dispel the effect it's exerting on the Star Rail. Right? I see. You should find March. I'll join you two once I'm ready. He's so calm. Did you talk to Don Hung? How'd it go? He doesn't seem very enthusiastic. <sighs> That's our Don Hung. <laughs> Always trying to look cool with his poker face. Don't mind him. Relax. Don Hung and I are experienced I'm, I'm relaxed. We got your back. Of course you do. Well, are you ready? I'm as ready as you can be. You bet. When I first saw this planet, I thought a world covered in ice. Could it have something to do with my past? Aww. Now I can't stop thinking about it. Still... The ice that trapped me was six-phased ice, a very rare substance. I don't think you can find it on your average planet. We won't know unless we have a look ourselves. To be honest, I think I'd be kind of annoyed if I found out this was my home world. It looks freezing. Pretty girls aren't frost resistant. True, Slay. <laughs> what? Is there oh, you on look my face? good. He looks yeah, good in that. I was just imagining all the fun we're gonna have. I don't know if he changed clothes, but he looks different <laughs> for some reason. I feel sorry for this world. First the Stellaron, and now you. Well, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Here comes the Urelo Six Trailblaze team. Yeah. Woo! Let's go. The best trial in the world! In the universe! Urelo 6. Oh, that's a sad ass planet, actually. Oh man. There really is one big snowball. It doesn't feel that well, the cold. The trailblaze path grants us faint power. It allows us to better adapt to harsh environments. <sighs> Snow as far as the eye can see. Which direction should we take? Based on the coordinates, the target should be up ahead. Then what Let's are go then. For? Let's go. I agree. Why didn't we land on the destination? That's true. Why didn't we? <laughs> Do you want to mention the time we smashed a hole through Tykean Stadium, or shall I? Oh. oh. Please stop bringing that up. Let's just say that landings and crowds don't mix. <laughs> Unless you enjoy trailblazing through two weeks of community service. I said drop it! Remember, we should stay vigilant. We know very little about this world. Calm down. Between the three of us, nothing will stand in our way. I agree. I mean, we on. just killed them. You've got a Doesn't matter. Your body. I have my special six-phased ice powers. And Don Hung... Uh... He's got that mysterious past thing going for him. This... So Mr. Is past things. Trouble for us, they're gonna regret it. Yeah, they're gonna regret it. I'm just gonna agree with March. So, how long does copycatitis last? Let's go. Oh, huh? what's that? Copycatitis. The real spirit of trailblazing. <laughs> hey, get out of 
there or you'll shiver to death. Oh, there's a person inside. Holding your breath won't help. Yeah, we kind of heard you. March. Uh, someone's got their head stuck in the sand. Or <laughs> the snow in this case. They just need a helping hand. <gasps> I wonder who it is. Man hiding in snow. My fine fellow, was that really necessary? Is crawling around in the snow a crime these days? I mean, come on, surely. Who's this? It doesn't warrant a spearing. We're not really impressed, dude. But then again, how can I blame you? This is I mean, awkward. I caught you off guard. It, it had to happen. You could even say I deserved it, huh? Besides, I made a gallant group of new friends as a result. <laughs> is Captain Jafard around? Uh, he, he's an old buddy of mine. Captain Jafard? Who's all these people? Wait, you're not Silvermane Guards? Well, why didn't you say so? Turns out we're on the same side after all. Pleasure to meet you. The name's Sampo Koski. Sampo? I'm Sora. Excellent. I'll remember the name. Never thought I'd run into friends from the same line of work out here in this frozen wasteland. <sighs> Business is bad these days, but fear not. Sampo Koski isn't interested in hoarding. There's more than enough treasure to go around, so let's get rich together. <laughs> uh... Say, why don't we join forces? Oh. I have reliable intel. The main strength We're gonna get a new character now? Guards is being deployed to the front line. This is a golden opportunity. I don't really trust this guy. What business are you talking about? Come now, friends. I can understand the mistrust, but there's no need for the charade. Then again, I know the rules. Vigilance is the name of the game in our profession. It's my fault for letting my enthusiasm mm. and sincerity get the better of me. Anyway, a meeting like this has to have been written in the stars. Ask me anything you like. I won't skimp on the details. Still make it snappy. You're never more than 10 feet from a Silvermane guard. I have no idea who these Silvermane guards even are. You really don't know? No. The Silvermane guards are Bellabog soldiers. Who's Bellabog? Oh. Let's just say they're not the most flexible of Okay, people. so it's police. And they like paying visits to folks in our line of work. Uh-huh, but why are you running away from them? Seems like you guys really are new to the business. <laughs> to be young and naive again. How about this? We As found a criminal, maybe? A senior in the field, which I'm sure you don't mind me saying, I'll give you some free guidance. There are ways of doing things in this profession, and you better get familiar with them. Moving in the shadows, finding the goods, pricing your stock, hiding from the guards. There's an art to all of it. <laughs> no need. Why don't you just take us to the city? We don't really know the way. The city? Already? They haven't even started trading yet. Well, we don't need that. The way is easy enough, Missy, but it would cost... We're not giving you a dime. You're gonna tell us. But, but it would be my pleasure. Or else. Kindness is Sampo Koski's middle name. Follow me, friends, and uh, keep quiet. We don't want to be spotted by the guards. So why were you okay. hiding from the Silver Main guards? Yeah, we're just storing a few relics away from prying eyes. Nothing serious. If it weren't for the uncompromising nature of our civil service, there'd be no need for secrecy. So, where about you guys from, anyway? I don't mean to pry or anything, I just care about my friends. No pressure. We're not friends. <laughs> Why is he calling Rule us his seven, friends? We're not friends. Never leave a footprint. I have my own special technique called invisible snow walking. Helps me throw off pursuers in no, no time. Oh. Who are they? Uh... You remember the Silvermane guards oh. I mentioned? That's them. Help I me mean, we didn't do anything. I be caught. Yeah. It's the suspect and his accomplices. Arrest I'm not them. his accomplice. Oh. 
course we're gonna get into this drama with this guy. I guess we'll just kill them because we're that strong. Your answers? Do you know who I am? Boom. And we're gonna do this. The measure of truth and falsehood. This is too easy. Oh. <gasps> that was useless, March. What are you doing? Who is the oh? Oh. Oh, that's Jepard. Captain of the Silver Mane Guards, order you to relinquish your futile resistance. Ah, oh, that Sampo cheated us all. Wait till we get our hands on him. We're gonna use this. Why is it so slow? Uh, so I'm a criminal, huh? Forget Sampo. Wait until I get my hands on you. Boom. My turn. We're gonna do this. <laughs> Let's make it quick. And we're gonna use her ult. Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe we're gonna take this one out first. Yeah, let's go. Good job. Good job, team. We're gonna do this. Oh, no, we're gonna do this. What can you do? Okay, he doesn't do any damage. Try that again. I'm asking questions. We got this. Wait. Oh. And the prime suspect? Oh, we don't get to kill him. The blue hair. Apologies, Captain. We lost him during the pursuit. We can't find his footprints. Of course, we're gonna get into trouble now. We have his accomplices. He'll be close by. His next move. We're innocent, I swear. We are not his accomplices. Yeah, we'd never team up with someone like him. I'm not trying to talk our way out of this, but we're not friends with that scoundrel. Did you see how fast he ditched us? We rescued him from the snow out of the kindness of our hearts. We had no idea he might be using us to get past you. Are you really dumb enough to fall for his... I'm a captain, not an adjudication panel. As a Bellabog citizen, you He's have to He's kind of cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> but that can only take place under the scrutiny Oh no, of it the begins. Not now. Take them away. Oh no. I'm weak. But we're not from Bellabog. Show him the photos. Does our equipment bear any resemblance to yours? Silence. What kind of nonsense are you? Chill, man. As you were, Just saying. We must not be tempted into careless judgment. Look at their relics. We've never excavated anything like them before. And I haven't seen anything similar in our museums. Exactly. Because we're not from here. Uh, and we even have photos. You've probably never seen what your planet looks like, right? I took this one. Behold. Yarilo 6. March 7th shows Jeopard a picture of the ice covered planet. White ball? That's here? <laughs> That's our home? How can that. Hmm. Oh, they thought they thought the planet was flat. Strange visitors from oh, no. the sky would visit us here. But that after the eternal freeze, the blizzards made passage impossible. And you ju we just ruined everything. Such arrivals. But these people are... This decision is beyond us. If what they say is true, then only the Supreme Guardian may decide their fate. Our job is to present them before her. Nothing more. Outsiders, follow me. Bellabog lies beyond this blizzard. Look. Welcome to Bellabog, the city of preservation. <gasps> Ooh. 
That looks cold. I hope there's a lot of chests over there. Oh, that's cool. What? What is that? Some kind of clockwork? That's because you're enveloped. Oh, I farted. The last Sorry. Bastion of humanity. Oh, never mind. Last Bastion? <laughs> 700 years ago, monsters from beyond the sky set the world ablaze. The land was turned to scorched earth, with raging infernos and billowing towers of smoke stretching beyond the horizon. In the midst of the conflict, the eternal freeze descended without warning. Suddenly, sweeping winds brought blizzards which buried the invading legion. Bellabog was all that remained. The steadfast architects built this city. Under the protection of Klepoth, the preservation, Bellabog remains forever warm in the face of unrelenting cold. Mm hmm. Cool. You sure saying some weird stuff. Kind of weird, but. Marked change in tone. Sounds like he's quoting from a historical record. <laughs> uh huh. So why is he telling us all this? You wanted to know. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, we can explore now. Let's follow we Jeffrey. Saw strange here. creatures outside the city. They must have come from a terra and corroded space. A fragmentum, correct? How do you... That's right. Out there in the blizzard, there are still many threats, including the monsters you saw. The Silver Main Guards are continuously engaged with the enemy, but I'm afraid the situation is bleak. After your meeting with the Supreme Guardian, I would like to consult you on this matter. Oh, well, I wouldn't mind that. Intel. <laughs> We're here. This is Klepoth Fort, the heart of Bellabog and headquarters of the architects. Klepoth Fort? Klepoth is the symbol of preservation. Klepoth. Under Klepoth's impulsion, the architects constructed Bellabog, thus protecting the spark of civilization from disaster and the eternal freeze. To show our reverence, we named this fortress after the Eon themselves. The architects, under the protection of Klepoth, have continued to lead this city forward, repelling all manner of disasters. This fortress is also the residence of the Supreme Guardian. That looks really cool. The Supreme Guardian? The leader of Bellabog, elected and appointed by the architects. The Supreme Guardians have watched over this city for generations, sheltering the people from harm. The current guardian is Madame Kokolia Rand. Kokolia. Strategic decision is issued by her. Okay, let's talk oh, to her. She sounds like a big deal. I will now bring you to see Madame Kokolia. Oh, perfect. Please have your words at the ready. Her time is precious, so she prefers concise communication. Well, that's great because I do the same. Are you gonna see her right now? Can I at least find a place to freshen up first? March, you look fine. You look fine. You've got some snow in your hair, but no one will notice. <laughs> I've dispatched a messenger to send word. Adam Kokolia will be aware of your arrival. Come with me. Yes, sir. But that's a meaningless sacrifice. How can you? Oh, that's cool hair. <clears throat> that looks really you good. You may leave, Branya. Visitors have arrived. <sighs> Yes, mother. Mother? Madam Guardian, I have brought three outsiders to see you. The messenger informed me. Well done, Jacquard. You may leave. Hello, Kokolia. Welcome, visitors from beyond the Eternal Freeze. Or perhaps I should say... From beyond the sky, no? <laughs> I am Kokolia Rand, Bellabog's supreme guardian. I would be grateful if you could tell me why you have come. 
So you believe we come from beyond the sky? Do you wish me to doubt it? Or perhaps you're not confident in that identity yourself? <laughs> no, I do not doubt it. I can see that you are not from this world. The Is it that obvious? The remember the history well, else we should forget it. I know that in the distant past, before the Eternal Freeze descended or the Legion invaded, this world was once prosperous beyond measure. An eon connected our planet to other worlds, and we discovered the endless possibilities of the boundless universe. We also came to know of Klopoth, the Amber Lord. Under their attentive gaze, we built the city walls. So do not be surprised. For 700 years, the architects have received no That's a long time. from the stars. But I knew of your existence. Tell me why you have come. We want to help you. We came here for something known as a Stellaron. A Stellaron? Mm -hmm. Objects that fell from the blue on separate worlds. Their appearance spelled disaster. Many of the planets we visited have suffered their effects. You mentioned invasion by the Antimatter Legion. Soon after their arrival, this planet suffered the Eternal Freeze. At the same time, the phenomenon known as Fragmentum Space Corrosion began to occur. Correct? Correct. Fragmentums are a product of the Stellaron. Stellarons bring about different disasters on different worlds. But every world seeded with a Stellaron will give birth to Fragmentums. You can see us as... kind-hearted, interstellar public servants, lending a helping hand to any world affected by a Stellaron. Yep, that's us. Your analysis of our current circumstances is clear. We have indeed suffered the disasters you speak of, some of which prove vexatious to us even today but why should you care even because we're good people Stellaron you speak of did bring about disaster i fail to see its connection to you i don't believe that anyone would go to such lengths to help a world unrelated to them unless they had something to gain you're right our reason for coming here is not purely selfless yeah, we, we need the Stellaron. the Stellaron. We cannot leave this planet. Please help us locate the Stellaron. If we can get rid of it, your world will be safer too. Hmm, true. You know how to seal the Stellaron. We have the relevant means. Very well, I believe you. If our present situation is truly the result of this so-called Stellaron, then your arrival is the hope that Bellabog has waited 700 years for. I am willing to assist you in any way possible to help you locate the Stellaron. Her right hand is frozen. You must be tired. I will arrange for you to stay in our most comfortable hotel. I noticed that. Rest there and get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow at noon, I will dispatch someone to escort you here. And we can discuss this urgent matter in greater detail. Thank you, Supreme Guardian. It should be me thanking you, visitors from beyond the sky. Oh, I she's nice. Some time. I will go over our records for anything that may be connected to Stellarons. Please excuse me for not escorting you further. That's very nice of her that she wants to help us. That's very nice. What? What was that? Oh! Wait, what's- wait, what is going on? What are these voices? Oh no. Of course, I understand. How did you understand that? Do not worry. I have a way. Huh? It seems that the Supreme Guardian holds you in high regard. I have received orders that your movements are no longer to be restricted. Uh, she's an impressive figure. I don't know what to feel about that last part. She's the big shot. Definitely got that queen of the castle vibe going on. Oh, so cool. <laughs> I'm afraid I still have duties to attend to. I must return to my post. 
I hope you enjoy your stay in Bellabog. Thank you, Jackard. Can you recommend some sites? It's not that late. We want to take a look around. Is there any well, chests around? I'd say that Golden Theater and the History Museum are both worth a look. However, you'd need a pass to get into the museum. I recommend you visit Everwinter Monument first. It's Bellabog's most symbolic landmark. Oh. And if you enjoy music, you could head to Neverwinter Workshop. You can sometimes catch an outdoor performance there. The artist is... <sighs> You'll see. Oh, Kay. and if you're staying at Goethe Hotel, please avoid the alley that runs next to it. The one with Silvermane Guards stationed there. It's started to be affected by corrosion recently, so it's been sealed off. Oh. So the corrosion is inside the city. That's a grave situation. Yeah, that's not good at all. Yes, we're mounting a resistance as we speak. I must leave now. I hope all goes well for you. Thank you so much. He's kind of cute. <laughs> He's kind of cute, not gonna lie. Wow, look at the carved ice. It feels perfect for this city somehow. Yeah, Whatever it is a planet made, made of ice. It can't be ice. It doesn't look like I ice see there. Right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? Ugh, children. Ooh. Never winter workshop. Hey, didn't Japard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I'd been wondering. You see that heater over there? Yeah, I th that's Why a heater. It outdoors? This city is so weird. I guess it's Normally that makes them inside a building, warm. Right? No, they do that outside as well, actually, in restaurants and so so. Maybe they have indoor heaters too. Maybe. <laughs> just seem like a waste of energy oh uh, maybe this is how the architects repel the eternal freeze tiny heaters maybe. are no use against the that's what I thought. disaster oh who's that you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater oh, Ooh. Wow, she's cool hey mommy uh, hi hello hi there the name's serval I'm the owner of this workshop. Oh, we have her actually. If you got actually any have her around, on my not on my team, me, but though, I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. Oh, uh, but I haven't okay. used her yet. I was just curious about the heater. Curious about the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Standing broken machines outside of a sh workshop is bad advertising. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what's wrong with that? Everyone around here knows the way I work. <laughs> oh, ah, I figured it out. I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them. Yeah, what that's us. Honor. Outsiders. Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. Sure. Let's talk. Let's go to Servo. Hello, Servo. The heater you saw is just a standard Kilmero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. Thanks, Furians. I don't it. have any more questions this is to be your honest. First time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Thank you, Servo. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Sure, I'll help you. We're not busy. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first. Okay. Repair. Oh. There you go. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You pick that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. Uh, sure, why not? <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? I mean, yeah. <laughs> when it's her. I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. 
why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. <laughs> Thank you, Serval. I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, that's the alley that Japard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They Let's go there. It. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back. This is your final warning. But... But my proof of property is inside. I don't have any. The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the architects, but only Silvermane guards are permitted to enter here. Hmm. I can't believe Fragmentum corrosion has spread. Now I want to go there any even more. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. Can soldiers really hold back the Fragmentum? No. As long as the Stellaron is active. The corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the fragmentum of monsters. But the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! Mm. <sighs> Poor guy. Let's go inside the lobby. Hotel lobby. Oh! Wow, what a beautiful lobby! It really is, it's actually. Gonna be soft mattresses and cushiony pillows tonight. Want to have a pillow fight later? Huh? Huh? I bet they're <laughs> stuffed with goose feathers. She's so silly. <laughs> March. Earlier in Klipoth Fort. Stop! I know what you're gonna say. March, you said too much back there. March, you shouldn't reveal our goal to people we don't trust. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. But check it out. Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... Not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klipoth Fort... Uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? I did. Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. So, did you notice anything? Nope. She seemed normal to me. She was kind of harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. I don't know about that. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Oh, uh, so I'm not the only one. Like that? That's scary. Uh, uh, you guys are overthinking things. <laughs> uh, it's possible. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm, let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Let's do that. We need some rest. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. That's enough fun for today. Time to rest. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Sleep oh, well, guys. You Thank you. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. Yeah. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! <laughs> oh. Voice of the Star Stellaron. Who are you? What are you? We are allies. Allies of the Guardians. This is so creepy. Allies of the Guardians. Ooh. 
Ew. Oh my gosh. That was creepy. Hey, did you hear that? There's a group of Silvermane guards at the entrance. And I don't think they're here to say hi. What happened? This is our escort. It's less friendly than I was expecting. You can't always be friendly on the job, you know, and that's so true. Huh. You must have had some miserable jobs. I have, yeah. Let's go and meet them. We won't know until we're down there. Yeah, that's true. Let's go. Hey, Commander Branya is waiting for you all down below. Hurry up and go see her. And no tricks. Hey, what's wrong? Are what we did we do? In a lot of trouble? We didn't we just slept? What's the what's the shift? All of a sudden. Oh, what's going on now? Oh, are we in trouble? We didn't do anything. Uh, it's you. You were there at the fort. I am Branya Rand, acting commander of the Silvermane Guards. In the name of the Amber Lord and the Highest, and under order of Supreme Guardian Kokolia Rand, I hereby arrest the suspected infiltrators under the charge of plotting to incite rebellion. Huh? As agent of the Supreme Guardian, I herewith temporarily strip you of your freedom of action and speech. When you Excuse are tried me? by the adjudication, I think there's some. You, you, given the opportunity this is not. This is not. The accusations. What do you mean? The resistance will prove futile. You must come with me. No, we didn't do anything. Wait a this isn't what we agreed. She said we were going to be escorted to discuss an urgent matter. Yeah. This is an orchestrated betrayal, obviously. Oh. Jesus. Looks like we've been downgraded to accomplices. Oh, Again. that creepy mother. It seems like it's every mm. third planet this happens. That's because you always act without thinking. You never have a plan. Hey, I'm improving. I'm uh, coming up with a plan right now. And got one. Donna, the alley. Oh, she we, she wants to run away. Hmm, it's possible. Ooh, March. not not bad. Be ready to make an escape. Good idea, March. Huh? Really? I just wanted to say something. <laughs> it's now or never. The three of a kind. Huh? It's an old Astral Express escape signal. Do you play cards? Oh. Two pair. Ace. Hey, what are you whispering? Let's get. Or going. what's what's number one? Ace. Oh, it is Ace. Let's go. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that's that's that was too easy, huh? Bye. They charged straight in. Escaping into a fragmentum. I don't know if they're overconfident or just eager for death. It would seem that Mother's judgment was correct. Should we no. report them as missing or deceased? <sighs> the Supreme Guardian's order was to arrest them. We cannot abandon our pursuit just because they fled into a sealed off area. I must ascertain their fate with my own eyes. Y yes, ma'am. Eradicate all threats to Bellabog security. That is what I must do. Bring it on. Ha! See? They weren't brave enough to follow us. Freedom! Serves them right. Better luck next time, slow pokes. Great work, everybody! <laughs> it was a team effort. We caught them by surprise. Nothing more. They'll be in pursuit soon enough. Hm. Let's follow the path. We need to guarantee our own safety before making any further plans. Now, I wonder where we are now. Dare underestimate me. <laughs> Even 
though it has suffered fragmentum corrosion, this is still part of Velabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Mm. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. Yeah, what do we do? My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? Yeah, I'm Madame wondering Garth as well. Investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last hey. night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! <laughs> Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian okay, March. elevates the seriousness Let's of go, life. March. You tell Throw her. Throw down your arms and surrender. Nah. -uh. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Well, if there's no escape... Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine. We're gonna kick their ass. Mm-hmm. Let's freaking do it. Just. Gonna do it this. <laughs> yeah. Let's make it cruel. Are made to be broken. Oh. Boom. Time to twirl. Huh. Wait, what's that it? <sighs> Don't hang my man. He got her back. Gonna fight her? Ooh. Bring it on, girly. Mediocre. Need I teach someone a hmm. lesson? Let's test your knowledge. I guess we're gonna. Zero points. Why is it so slow? Oh, because it's normal you speed. Have the worst luck running into me. <sighs> Damn. Gonna do it like that. What are you looking at? Back off. Oh. oh. Try that again. S -A -S I think we're just gonna focus her. We don't care about the others. They can do what they what they want. Boom. He's so strong. Doctor Ratio so strong. I don't understand how I got him for free. She has no chance against me. Girlie, you can't do anything. Answers. Answer me. Try that again. Um We just gonna do this. You can't run. Okay, they keep spawning. We're just gonna focus her, it doesn't matter. Let's make it quick. Yeah. Boom. Uh this. You can't hide. Try that again. And she's gone. Let's go. This girl's pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung! Maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Hmm? Secret strength. You're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. Oh, well, I know that voice. <laughs> oh no, it's not that guy again, is it? Oh, it is him. I have one thing to say. 
Sampo never lets friends who've helped him. I don't like him. I say what I mean, and I mean what I Did he just knock us out? They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. Oh no, not the voices again. <laughs> voices. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. They will see me as a tyrant. You They're messing with your head. It is so goddamn creepy. Stop. I understand. Oh, she's being messed oh, with all her life. Aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Oh. Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Who's Didn't that? Where am I? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld Girl? What am I gonna do about Overworld her? Girl? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back. What Together girl is that? The rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? Yeah, I wonder. If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratch my back. How could I live with myself if Why I does he keep them? considering us some and as his thing. friends? We're Where not friends. Get, get that in your head. Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. <laughs> Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up... Where the hell are we? Underground? What would they do with you? Alright. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. 